The type of electric vehicles to think about uh, are uh, normal cars, but for Soyeta specifically, we, we studied this uh, with great interest. Uh, confirmed by Bloomberg, uh, basically there, there are 75 million vehicles being registered around the world. What people don't realize is that the L3 category, which is motorcycles, uh, there's already a market of 60, over 60 million vehicles per year. That's uh, expected to double in size. And we believe that that market will go 40% electric. Uh, think more Asia than the UK. Uh, think more light uh, 110 cc motorbikes. That's where the volume is. Uh, and that's what we created our uh, solution for, specifically for that application. From there, we will expand into L7, which is uh, quadricycles, think golf carts, uh, buggies, but also the up and coming autonomous vehicles. They will all sit in that category. And again, so for, for, for motorcycles alone, we see a market of 50 million units globally. Uh, and for uh, the L7 category, uh, again, the, the numbers are huge, very, very large volumes. Market opportunity for Sayeta, um, we believe within L3 category, so that's motorcycles, um, we believe that uh, based on, on, on research from like Bloomberg, for example, uh, that that market is going to grow to 50 million units. Um, we are already talking to potential clients in Asia that uh, agree with these type of numbers. So developed in the UK, but the application is global basically and, and the volume is, is very large. The benefits of our motor technology is that we've completely redesigned the motor. So first of all, we uh, looked at the application. Uh, so for motorcycles, for example, it needs to be high torque. Uh, it needs to be the same performance level as 110 cc. Um, we've delivered that. We've proven that already. Uh, we have bikes here that, that demonstrate it and people can come and test them. Um, we also focused on low voltage because we believe that if these 50 million motorcycles go electric, then no doubt after 6 or 12 or 18 months, then uh, vehicle repairs will start to happen on the side of the road, like they do in the whole of Asia. If you do that with 400 volts or 800 volts, huh, like in, in, in passenger cars, um, it's going to be very, very dangerous. So our, we are partly responsible for creating a solution that delivers high torque at a low voltage, and that is our USB. Obviously, the other ones are it's fit and forget, fully sealed, and uh, it's, it's suitable to be used at very high temperatures with our water-cooled uh, system. Regarding pricing, so we, we, we know the application, we know where the future volume is, um, but the, the biggest challenge is that, uh, on the one hand, actual flux motors are the most efficient motors, but they're also the most expensive motors. Um, and we went out on a mission to create an actual flux motor suitable for mass volume adoption. And that starts right from the core of the technology. So what copy do you use? What do you do with your magnets? Um, we know, and, and we've proven this in the market, that uh, we can be unbeatable on price, um, but it comes with volume. Um, so therefore, we are looking for very large partners to collaborate with and bring this motor into mass volume adoption at a global level as quickly as possible. Uh, and the main reason why we want to do that is we want to clean up the air in large cities. Uh, and it starts with those little polluting uh, lightweight mobility vehicles. The reason why we believe that our motor will work in this segment is of course related to price. Um, so if we look at this uh, 60 million motorcycle industry, um, it's those motorcycles, and, and as Europeans we don't really know this, um, they are selling motorcycles in Asia for $1,500. So 110cc, about $1,500. Life has become very tough out there because they've adopted new emissions regulations. So within this $1,500, they have to package a catalyst and all kinds of emissions equipment. And it's, it's getting impossible for these vehicle manufacturers to make any money. 
Now, what we believe is that in that market segment, because the vehicle is light, you can also work with uh, swappable batteries. Um, and what um, the way we are we are moving forward with several partners is that first of all, our motor is unbeatable on price to compared to efficiency, uh, and it works in these relatively cheap motorcycles. Um, Taking that one step further with, for example, swappable batteries, and the, there's a company very successful at this in, in tai, uh, Taiwan, um, where more than a quarter of a million people have adopted their uh, solution within four years. We are taking that to the next level. We are demonstrating here from the UK that basically we can create an 11 kilowatt motorcycle solution but still with swappable batteries. And that's, we believe, is the holy grail to mass volume adoption. Because if you can buy the motorcycle without the battery, and you lease the battery for less money than what you currently spend on fuel, um, our motor technology keeps the motorcycle affordable. And then essentially you can buy the vehicle for less money, and you can use it for less money without government subsidies. And that is the magic that we need and it will happen in the next five years. It's, it's uh, the tsunami we see coming is huge. What we've done to, to remove all of these obstacles uh, and, 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 and create this mass adoption, uh, first of all, the academic reports, anyone can Google it, uh, it's, it's a proven fact that axial flux is the preferred technology for electric traction solutions. Um, but until now, it has always been too expensive. Um, and, and, and there are companies out there, and we, we've analyzed all of them. Um, what we've done is we recreated the axial flux. It's, it's a world first. We, we've completely re-engineered the, the topology. Um, we've patented it. Uh, and uh, that's why we were in stealth mode for the last three years. We, we couldn't really tell anyone about it. Um, but we've done our homework and, and we have picked the right type of materials to create our unique topology. And uh, yeah, they need to have certain attributes to function in a very efficient uh, electric motor. But at the same time, you can get them at an extremely low cost. This applies to the type of copper that we have selected, the laminations that we work with, the way we structure the stator. Um, but also the magnets and the fact that they are non-laminated, uh, laminated, uh, uh, which, which again reduces cost. So we have a proven solution from Sayeta in the UK. Uh, we can uh, roll this out at a global level uh, and we, we're very interested to talking to the right people to, to join us on this exciting journey. Yeah, so if we focus on the, on the, on the assembly process itself, and so we, we, we've, we've picked the right topology, we, uh, we've re-engineered it, we've reinvented it, and we've picked the right materials, um, but we've gone even further than that. Um, we are working with discrete individual components, where as you, if you go to YouTube and you, you have how it's made and you see how people make electric motors, it's always very complicated with copper wires, etc. We work with discrete individual uh, copper uh, parts uh, and, and, and we own that design. Um, but it, it's also the enabler to create a, a fully automated assembly process. And, and we are very unique in that position. I'm very, very glad about it um, because this will enable manufacturers like ourselves, but also licensed partners around the world to make these motors at extremely high volume in a fully automated way, um, which of course is also very good for the quality and the consistency um, to then throw them into the market because uh, the, the, it's a maintenance-free, fit and forget world that we are moving towards uh, and we have the right solution for it. To put it simply, um, we've engineered the right product that can be made for the right price uh, and is suitable for lightweight uh, vehicles for mass volume adoption at a global level.